Hey guys, welcome back. This is another Affinity Designer tutorial, this time on the topic of custom shapes. So let's get right into it. As you can see on this left side, we have a bunch of shapes that are predetermined that we can use, such as this arrow, etc, etc. But what if we want a custom type, such as maybe a shoe? So what we're going to do is we have two options. We can either do a pen tool or a pencil tool. Since a shoe is a mostly straight object, I'm going to use the pen tool for this one. So let's left click, and you can just start left clicking away. Try to get the general shape of a shoe. Now forgive me if my artistic skills are not amazing, but there is our shoe. So, and notice that I connected it, I made it a closed shape by clicking the last one on top of the first one. So now that we have this shape, we're going to want to smooth it out. Let's go up here to this little white arrow called the node tool. I'm going to click. And now what I can do is I can start selecting things that I want to curve. And I can go up here to this top bar and convert it to a curve. Boom, there's a curve. I can change the curve by moving these little arms up and down side to side. Um, if I want both the inside arms to be equal, I can hold down the shift key and it'll stop when it's equal. There, our shoe's already looking much better. Now, this isn't a great shoe, but I'm happy with it, so let's color it in. Go up here to the move tool to deselect the vector type, and you can just click on the blank space, and there you go. There's our outline of a shoe. If we want to fill it in, we can click it, we can come up here to the color tab, and as you can see it's empty at the moment, which is telling us that it's empty by this white circle with the red line across it. We can change that by simply dragging something inside of the color wheel. Now if we want to make this, let's say we want this a blue shoe, there we go, and there is our custom shape. That's it for today, if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, if you didn't like it, still comment, tell me why. Feedback is always appreciated, and thanks for watching.